Hey, welcome back to the next video in my using an iPad Pro as a laptop series. Today we're going to be using the SteelSeries Nimbus controller and Moonlight software to stream games from my gaming computer onto the iPad Pro. And we're going to do that by jumping right into the iPad itself. So here we go. All right guys, so here we are in the iPad. I have the Nimbus controller here. It's hooked up by Bluetooth. I'm not gonna walk you through how to do that. It's uh, just the same as any other Bluetooth device. And I also have Moonlight loaded here. So let's go ahead and launch up Moonlight. This shows the desktops that you're already connected to. I've already prepared out to my gaming desktop. So let's go in there. And these are some of the games that I have available. So the first one I wanted to show you was Fallout 4. So let's launch that up. All right, so you guys might notice the L3 and R3 on the screen here. The reason for that is that the buttons on the Nimbus do not register as L3 or R3. In fact, there's no controllers for iOS that, that register those buttons. So the way they kind of get around it is to put the L3 and R3 on the screen, which is not a great solution because if you're playing a game and then you have to reach up and hit it, especially a lot of games use L3 for run, that's not gonna work very well. It is a workaround, it is, uh, does let you access that functionality, but it's not really a great experience. So I'm gonna hit a button on the controller here, and then I'm just gonna go in and continue my game. Now again, this is streaming from my PC that's in the other room, it's actually on the other side of the house, and it, we'll see how it performs here. All right guys, so here we are in one of the outside levels, and as you can see, as I move around, it's really, really responsive. There's no discernible lag. Hitting the buttons and everything works pretty much immediately. The video looks good. I'm not seeing any pixelation from uh, going through the network here. And I do have the gaming PC wired, and this is on wireless, obviously. The only thing is, this is a, an example of kind of what I was talking about. I want to press the L3 to run here, and L3 on this controller or any iOS controller doesn't register. So to get around that, they have L3 and R3 on the screen, so you can tap that L3, and then, and then I run. But that's not a real good solution, having to reach up from your remote and hit it on the screen. I kind of wish that it was uh, you were able to do that on the remote. But other than that, the, uh, there's no real lag. It's pretty responsive. Um, all the buttons work great, except for those uh, missing ones. And the select and the start button are on the screen also. So we can go into here and quit out, quit to the desktop, and we'll go into the next game. All right, now here we are in Bioshock Infinite. So I'm gonna hit a key. And you can see the controller works on this one as well. Let's go and load up one of my previous games here and give you a quick demo of how this one responds. Now in this game I have the same problem with you know I want to hit the L3 to run and again it doesn't work so kind of the same problem as with Fallout. So other than the L3 and R3 it's very responsive again uh, everything is pretty much lag free I'm not seeing any delays, the buttons work immediately, pretty much exactly how Fallout 4 did. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of this one to the desktop and show you one more game, and this is one where the controller does not work at all. All right, so here we are in the game I was talking about, which is Tomb Raider, and there's nothing. The controller is on, you can see the light here, but there's just no, it's not registering it at all. So this one, is unusable with the controller. You could probably use it with the touch controls on the screen. If you're not using a controller, it'll have touch controls on there. But this is the 12.9 inch, so it's a little bit too hard to hold and use those on-screen controls. And really, you're only gonna wanna do it with uh, the controller, which this one doesn't work. All right, so overall, I would say this is a pretty good experience with some caveats. And those caveats being that some games just don't work with the controller at all. And I'm not sure why that is, because on my NVIDIA Shield set-top box, like for Tomb Raider, I'm able to use the controller for that, but with Moonlight on the lab, on the iPad, with the SteelSeries Nimbus, there's just no input. It's not recognizing the input. Some other games work great, 
And the other caveat is the fact that you can't click the, uh, you basically don't have an L3 and an R3. And that's not just on the Steel Series Nimbus. That's for any controller that works with the iPad Pro. And I'm not talking about jailbreaking. You can jailbreak and then uh, load, you know, connect other Bluetooth controllers that may work. I'm talking straight out of the box, no jailbreaking, things that are officially supported. So that's a limitation. It's not with the Steel Series Nimbus specifically, it's with any controller that you're going to be able to use without jailbreaking again on the iPad Pro. So for me, this uh, wasn't a great experience. It's not something that, that I would do regularly because of those limitations. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any comments, please leave them below and hit that subscribe button and then the bell next to it to notify you when I put up a next video in this series. And then come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people on there and saying hi and chatting. So I'll see you in the next video.